Rightly Dividing 2 Corinthians Study Guide For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16 Marianne Manley Rightly Dividing 2 Corinthians Study Guide By Marianne Manley Rightly Dividing 2 Corinthians Study Guide Copyright 2021 by Marianne Manley Cover Design of Paul Praying to the Lord Jesus Christ by Madeleine Wilkinson Acknowledgement To God be the glory for helping me write this book. I am grateful for the support of my dear husband Chuck and my children during this time. I would like to thank some of the many grace pastors who have helped me understand God's word rightly divided, Les Feldick, Richard Jordan, Tom Brescia, Rick Jordan, David Reed, David Osteen, Paul Lucas, and others. I was particularly helped by Sean Brousseau's informative articles on forwatsethscriptures.org. I thank Leanne Miko and others for their memes. I am grateful for Patty Carlson and my other students for their help in the ministry. In preparing these books, I primarily read and study the Word of God over and over again until the Holy Spirit helps me to understand His Word better, but I also listen to sermons, read articles, and books. Asterisk and note from the author. After teaching on all of Paul's letters and writing commentaries, I am going through his letters again, taking a closer look at each and every paragraph in conjunction with my additional understanding. This is the new Closer Walk or Look series for rightly dividing Paul's letters, mystery, from the rest of the Bible, prophecy. My goal is to increase the reader's understanding of the Bible and accelerate their spiritual growth. This study guide is meant to be used along with the King James Bible. Some important and difficult passages are quoted and scrutinized more thoroughly. While Satan is preparing the world for Antichrist, God's Spirit in us is working to prepare us to be useful here and in heaven. When some verses are found in 1 Corinthians, I write, 4.11, instead of, 2 Cor, 4.11. How to use this book, skim it first, read it using a ruler and a pen, when you find a great cross-reference or comment you can mark it in your Bible, circle and color important words, make notes so that you have them. Next time you read that passage, I recommend the Schofield Study Bible 3 in the King James Version. It is wise to get a leather cover for it that holds a pen and zips. I recommend reading God's Secret A Primer with pictures for how to rightly divide the word of truth before this book. For a complete between the Bible text analysis, please read our commentaries on all of Paul's letters, Acts, and Hebrews. We have a salvation booklet. All glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Asterisk find a copy red tract in English on page 5. The Spanish tract is on page 85. Forward and salvation tract. Introduction 2 Corinthians Summary 2 Corinthians Review Sentences Outline Table of Contents Paul's Purpose for the 2 Corinthian Letter Rightly Dividing Timeline Open and Closed Chart of the Three Time Periods Chapter 1 Double Trouble and the God of All Comfort Chapter 2 Forgive the Repentant Brother and Satan's Devices What was God's Response to Satan's Policy of Evil? Chapter 3 Able Ministers of the New Testament and the Spirit Chapter 4 The Treasure is the Life of Jesus in Our Earthen Vessels Chapter 5 The Reconciliation of the World and the New Creature Chapter 6 Receive Not the Grace of God in Vain
Chapter 7 The Heart of Paul and How God Comforted Him Chapter 8 Grace Giving Chapter 9 Be Generous Because God Has Lavished His Grace on Us Reasons to Separate from Wrong Doctrine Chapter 10 The Measure of Apostolic Authority Given to Paul by Christ Chapter 11 Godly Jealousy Warning of False Teachers Boasting in the Lord Chapter 12 Further Proof of Paul's Apostolic Authority Chapter 13 Examine Yourselves Are You in the Faith? Prayer Appendix and Spanish Salvation Tract Where Was God's Word Before the 1611 King James Bible, KJB? About the Author Other Books by Marianne Manley Forward and Salvation Tract O oh soul, are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see? There's light for a look at the Savior, and life more abundant and free. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. From Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus by Helen H. Lemmel, 1922 we all have trouble sometimes, but knowing we have received the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ by faith in the good news how that Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day according to the scriptures, 1 Cor. 15 colon 3, 4, and that we will receive our new glorified bodies at the rapture helps. Sometimes our hearts break because we want our family and friends saved. At other times we fear because of all the evil in the world which is growing darker every second. We sometimes suffer in the ministry even from other believers. There is a battle going on between good and evil. Jesus Christ wants to save as many as possible and prepare them for rewards at the judgment seat of Christ, while Satan wants to prevent people from being saved and understanding the mystery and to prepare the world for Antichrist. Satan was trying to hinder what Christ was doing through Paul, but God comforted Paul and God can comfort us. Our only hope is to understand what God said in the Bible rightly divided. All the Bible is for us, but Paul's Romans to Philemon is to us who will live in heaven, 2 Cor. 5 colon 1, the rest of the Bible is to those who will live in the kingdom on earth. Romans 5 verse 8 KJB JSP 8 But God commendeth his love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We turn our eyes upon Jesus, when we turn our face to look in his word. God made him to be sin for us. God made him to be sin for us. Sin. Sin. Wherein wings, he took my sin, he took my sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God him. 2 Cor, 521, I received his righteousness, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. Righteousness of God. I received his righteousness. Righteousness of God. Do you know that no one can come before the Father without the righteousness of Jesus? Believe that Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day according to the scriptures, 1 Cor. 15 colon 3, 4. Jesus took our sins and we receive his righteousness. You know that no one can come before the Father without the righteousness of Jesus? Believe that Christ died for our sins. God made him to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 He took my sin, sin, righteousness of God. I received his righteousness. 
was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures, 1 Cor. 15 colon 3, 4. Jesus took our sins and we receive his righteousness. Do you know that no one can come before the Father without the righteousness of Jesus? Believe that Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day according to the scriptures, 1 Cor. 15 colon 3, 4. Jesus took our sins and we receive his righteousness. New Apostle, Paul. New Gospel, Justification by Faith, New Dispensation, of Grace. New Agency, the Body of Christ. New Audience, All People. New Operating System, Grace, Not the Law, New Ministry, Reconciliation. New Destiny, Heaven. Follow Paul to follow the risen Christ. Paul, the Apostle of the Gentiles, is the only Apostle we have. We are instructed to listen to Paul and follow him in Romans through Philemon where we find our gospel, blessings, hope, inheritance, and instructions. Why? Because the risen Lord Jesus Christ sent Paul to us Gentiles. Paul's words are Christ's words. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1 1 Corinthians 14 verse 37 Romans 11 verse 13 1 Timothy 1 verse 16 KJB 2 Timothy 1 verse 11 KJB 11 whereunto I am appointed a preacher, and an apostle, and a teacher of the Gentiles. See Appendix for Where Was God's Word Before the 1611 King James Bible. Introduction Paul was troubled on every side, without were fightings, within were fears, 7 colon 5. Second Corinthians is an intensely personal, autobiographical, heart-pounding letter that Apostle Paul dictated to Timothy from Macedonia about AD 57. It was written shortly after 1 Corinthians. Paul combats a systematic wave of distrust that had swept through the assembly and a cunning attempt to overthrow his apostolic authority at Corinth led by the Judaizers and supported by a minority. They wanted to depose Apostle Paul and bring the Corinthians under their control. Paul sent Timothy and Erastus ahead to Corinth to help the leaders unify and purify the church. Then the three that had brought a letter seeking his advice returned with 1 Corinthians, Acts 19 verse 22, 1 Cor. 4 17, 16 17. Paul agonized over whether to send 1 Corinthians, but then decided to send it. While the problem addressed in the first letter was division, following other men besides Paul and human wisdom, in 2 Corinthians a major problem was those who follow the false Hebrew ministers that crept in and wanted to take over the church. It is likely that during his three-year stay in Ephesus, Paul made a second visit to Corinth, 2 colon 1, 12 14, 13 colon 1, to correct some of the problems there. Once back he wrote them a strong letter about fornication, 1 Cor. 5 colon 9, but that letter is not in our Bible. Paul's epistles to the Corinthians are letters of reproof for not following him. Timothy, his name means honoring God, returned to Paul with the news that the church had received 1 Corinthians but that things were still not right. Paul then dispatched Titus to Corinth to make sure that the church followed his apostolic orders, 7,13-15. Paul was comforted when Titus finally caught up with them in Macedonia, 7,6-17, with the good news that the church had humbly obeyed his instructions and that the offender had been disciplined. Paul rejoiced in the good news that the majority at Corinth obeyed his word and were behind him. This joy prompted him to write 2 Corinthians. Titus took this letter back to Corinth and assisted them in the collection for the poor saints in Jerusalem. He wants them to understand the ministry Christ gave him and to separate from false teachers before he arrives. He spent the winter with them, Acts 20 verses 1 to 4. 
Paul taught them the information he wrote in his letter to the Romans. The God of all comfort who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. 1 colon 4. God comforts us so we can comfort others. Second Corinthians Summary 2 Corinthians is a letter of reproof and rebuke of the believers in Corinth for not esteeming Paul as their one true apostle, 1211. It reveals what Paul was dealing with when his apostleship was being questioned and his message disdained. Paul was comforted by the God of all comfort, 1 colon 3, when Titus came and told him that many believers in Corinth did believe in Christ's heavenly ministry to them through him, 7 colon 7. Comfort means to fortify and console when in distress. He vehemently defends his apostleship and message for the sake of those who do not believe the glorious gospel of Christ that he and his co-workers preach, 3 colon 1 13 colon 10. He gives overwhelming evidence as ammunition to those who trust him to defend his true apostleship, 512. Paul has to do so because Satan wants to conceal this gospel, for colon 1-4, 2 Tim, 226. Paul's power is from God in Christ, for colon 7, 6 colon 7, 12 colon 9, 13 colon 3, 4, who is speaking in him and not himself. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. 4 colon 7, 10. Paul begs the Corinthians not to receive the grace of God in vain, 6 colon 1. Paul hopes that as their faith grows, their hearts will be enlarged to trust his apostleship from Christ to them, 6 11, 13, 10 15. He does not want them to yoke themselves to false preachers because then they will commit spiritual fornication, 6 colon 14 16. He pleads with them to separate from the false ministers, 6 17 to 7 colon 1. He begs them to receive him and his assistance, 7 colon 2. His letter is not just about one person who committed physical fornication, Paul even wants him comforted, 2 colon 7, but a warning to avoid spiritual fornication by not following Christ's apostle, 7 12, 12 21. Paul knows that the best thing for the Corinthians is to believe the truth that Christ made him the master builder, 1 Cor. 3 10, to build the body of Christ in the dispensation of grace. It comforts Paul, Titus, and Christ when believers believe what the Lord Jesus has done for the body of Christ through Paul, 7 colon 7, 13. Paul wrote this strong, yet loving letter to correct them so they would not continue doing wrong, 7 colon 9, 10. Paul wants to cast down the wrong thinking strongholds of Satan, 10 colon 5. He wants the church to be like a chaste virgin, 11 colon 2, which he can present to Christ, for 14, not someone who has been with. Other Men, False Apostles Satan had already infiltrated the church at Corinth and set up false apostles who masquerade as ministers of righteousness and ministers of Christ and teach false doctrine, 11 colon 13 15, 23. Only Paul suffered so many things for the sake of the ministry, did the signs of an apostle, and never took any money from them, 12 11, 12. Some were listening to the false ministers at Corinth and had sinned already, 12 21. Paul wants the Corinthians to decide to follow him and the sound doctrine Christ gave him, not other Hebrew apostles or instructions before he comes to visit them. This letter comforts us when we are attacked for sharing right division today. 2 Corinthians Review Sentences 1. God comforts us so we can comfort and console others. 2. Forgive the repentant brother and awareness of Satan's devices. 3. His righteous spirit in us does what the law could not do. 4. Our power source is the life of Jesus in us. 5. 
Christ gave his ambassadors the ministry of reconciliation. 6. Work with God, share in this day of salvation and separate from false teachers. 7. Corinthians comforted Titus, Titus comforted Paul, Paul comforted Corinthians. 8. Grace giving, the examples of the Macedonians and Christ. 9. Be generous givers because God has graciously given to you. 10. The measure apostolic authority given to Paul by the Lord. 11. Godly jealousy, warning of false teachers, boasting in the Lord. 12. Paul's thorn in the flesh, Christ's sufficient grace, avoid spiritual fornication. 13. Examine yourselves, are you in the faith? Rightly dividing means dividing our truth from the rest of the Bible. We are commanded how study his word in 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 below the mailboxes. Israel Body of Christ Don't claim your neighbor's mail. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth. Not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Paul 2T215 KJV Outline The theme, God's comfort as we minister his reconciliation as ambassadors. Key verse, for as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, ambassadors, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ, his spirit in us, 2 Cor, 1 colon 5. I, Paul explains his apostolic ministry and motives. I, double trouble, the sufferings of Christ, and the God of all comfort, 1. B. Forgive the repentant sinner and awareness of Satan's devices. 2. C. By the Spirit of the Lord, not the letter. 3. D. Our power, treasure, is the life of Jesus in our earthen vessels. 4. E. The goal and purpose of our ministry as ambassadors for Christ. 5. F. Examine yourselves in the faith, separate from false doctrine. 6. G. Our hearts are open to you, open your hearts to us, 7. 2. Take up the collection for the poor saints at Jerusalem. A. Uh, the example of Macedonia and the example of Christ, 8. B. Encouragement based on God's generosity, 9. 3. Paul defends his apostolic authority. A. Uh, Paul's spiritual fight for authority against Satan's strongholds, 10. B. Godly jealousy, warning of false teachers, boasting in the Lord, 11. C. His grace is sufficient and further proof of his apostolic authority, 12. D. Exhortation for self-examination, are you in the faith? 13. Paul's purpose for the second Corinthian letter. 1. Explain his delay in coming. 2. He wants to clear up all issues about his apostolic authority before he comes. 3. To know the proof of their love, whether they will be obedient in all things. 4. Commend church for disciplining offender, but forgive him now. 5. He wants the believers to know the life of Jesus is in them, for colon 7, 10, 11. 6. His goal is for the believers to be mature when we all meet Christ in heaven. 7. For them to answer his critics' questions about his authority and apostleship. 512. 8. To equip believers to be Christ's ambassadors who proclaim the word of God. 9. He wants the believers to follow Christ's doctrine from heaven to him. 10. Encourage them to take up the collection for the poor saints in Jerusalem. 11. He warns of false teachers who are present in their assembly. 12. For us new creatures, God's grace is enough. 13. He acknowledges the love of many of them and wants to edify them. 14. Christ and Paul love them. Christ is really speaking to them through him. 15. Paul plans to visit them soon and hopes for a joyful time together. Rightly dividing timeline, open and closed chart of the three time periods. 
Ages come Ephesians 2 verse 7, Abraham Gen 12 13 Den 13 to 14.18, G 15,121, and 1,714, Adam, Abraham, Gen 121 to 3 Den 13 14 18, G 151 to 1, O 12 14, Adam, Time past Ephesians 2 verses 11 and 12. For us. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16. Moses David x 4 throne. 1 p.m. 29. 13 John Baptist. Israel law. Hi. Tri of RA under the LA. Kingdom prophesied Dan 244. Gen 2 MAL. Earthly. For us. Promises to Tim. 316. Time passed. Ephesians 2 verses 11 and 12. Moses David. E34 throne John. 24. Lake 1 hour 31 minutes and 33 seconds Baptist. Israel law. Ministry of is under the land. Earthly try Christ. 2. Only. Mall 18.1-7 Matt 16 colon 4 Kingdom. At hand mate 3 colon 2, 417 10 colon 7. Kingdom prophesied Dan 244. Gen, to MAL. Cross. Matt to John. Gospel of Kingdom mate 2400 hours 14. Cross. 12. Earthly Mystery of Christ. Only. 10 colon 17 m 18 24 kingdom at hand mate 3 colon 2 417 10 colon 7 gospel of kingdom mate 2400 hours 14 matt to john earthly promises acts 2 verse 4 peter 4.32 stephen antichrist acts lu 12 32 1 to 9 fall of Israel, Kingdom, offered, Acts 31, 20, Gospel of, Circumcision, Gal 2, 7, Acts 2, verse 4, Peter 4.12, Stephen, the ACTS 231 to 9, Fall, of Israel, Kingdom, offered, Acts 16, 3, 18, 20, Gospel of Circumcision Gal, 2 colon 7, of Christ. 7 years, Kingdom. Tribulation 1000 years, Israel. Matt, 3 to 7 Ja, 30.7, DH. Co 24.24115, 13214, T, 62. Gospel of Kingdom. Isaiah 2 colon 1-4, 1625, 14, for us, 2 Timothy 3 verse 16, Kingdom established, Matt, 25 colon 34, Matt 6-10 Dan, 244, Judgment. Hebrews to Revelation, Great White Throne, The, EPM 110, but now Ephesians 2 verse 13, to us, heavenly promises, of, concision, rapture, grace, Paul and the body of Christ. Kingdom postponed, Romans 125, mystery, gospel of grace, Acts 20 verse 24, Romans to Philemon. Daniel 9 Prophecy The Mystery Was Hidden Antichrist Seven Years Tribulation Israel Mart 37 Just 30,7 Ages.com Ephesians 2 verse 7 For Us 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 Kingdom 1000 Years Matt 25 colon 34 Mast 10 Dan 244 Gospel of Kingdom. Saiyan 21 to 4. Judgment. Kingdom established.
Rue 11 2014 to 6. Great White Throne. HF 110. Hebrews to Revelation. Time passed. F. 2 11. 12 Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. But now, Ephesians 2 verse 13 But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. God inserted our truth the mystery. Ages to come, F. 2 colon 7 That in the ages to come he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus.